welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're going to be counting down our picks for the top 10 Gundam series. For this list, we'll be looking at the absolute best series this legendary mecha franchise has to offer. We won't be including movies on this list, so don't expect to see Hathaway's Flash or Char's Counterattack. What's your favorite Gundam series? Let us know in those comments below. Number 10 Mobile Suit Gundam – The Witch from Mercury The latest series in the Gundam franchise takes a very different approach to the rest, with the key factor being that it has the very first female protagonist in the franchise. After entering the School of Technology, Suleta Mercury soon finds herself in the position of having to take on many Gundam duels against her fellow students. <laughs> Behind all of this is a deep political drama between opposing companies vying for her defeat. As this is the newest Gundam entry, expect to see some of the most beautifully animated mecha battles ever seen in anime. <laughs> Number 9 Mobile Fighter G Gundam Look, the East is burning red. In the future century, Gundam is sent from every nation to a tournament to determine who gets to control Earth for four years. Neo Japan's champion Domon Kashu must not only win, but also track down his brother, who is looking to destroy life as we know it with his devil Gundam. Listen, uh, you wouldn't by chance have seen this man around the city? The first Gundam series set outside the Universal Century, G Gundam is basically what you get when you switch Gundam's genre into Super Robots. Each world nation has a representative Gundam with its own unique design and fighting style. It's wacky, it's over the top, it's Gundams fighting Gundams. Here I go, Shining Finger! Don't do it! Number 8 Turn A Gundam. For the 20th anniversary of the Gundam franchise, series godfather Yoshiyuki Tomino pulled out all the stops. In the year 2345 of the correct century, the long-lost Moon Race returns to Earth for its resources, and it's up to a spy, Loran Sehak, to defend the planet with an ancient mobile suit. <laughs> Tune Gundam is a landmark title in the Gundam mythos for its gorgeous artwork, nods to other entries of the franchise, hinting that they all may be connected, and its highly controversial Gundam design from American visual artist Sid Mead. It all adds up to a unique watching experience and one of the most ambitious Gundam tales to date. Number 7 Mobile Suit Gundam Seed <laughs> The first Gundam of the new millennia, Gundam Seed centers on two childhood friends, Kira and Athron, forced to fight on opposite sides of a war between humans and genetically enhanced coordinators. Kira Yamato, Gundam, ikimasu! Seed bears many references to the One Year War from the original Mobile Suit Gundam. However, it never goes beat for beat and focuses heavily on Kira and Atheron's conflict, along with themes of racism and commentary on genetic manipulation. Seed was incredibly successful, becoming the first alternate history Gundam to spawn a direct TV sequel, Gundam Seed Destiny, which was, uh, Difference. Number 6 Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. I'll kill you. After 20 years of oppression, space colonies orbiting the Earth send five deadly Gundam pilots to wage war against the Oz organization. While a modest hit in Japan, Gundam Wing is one of the main reasons the franchise is so recognized overseas. 
The series was a powerhouse title on Cartoon Network's Toonami Block, giving viewers something far different from DBZ or Sailor Moon. Without the sleek mecha designs, politically charged story, or lovable cast, the Gundam franchise may not be the huge name around the world it is today. <laughs> Number 5. Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans Nani? 300 years after a devastating war, two orphans, Mikazuki and Oga, and their fellow child soldiers must protect a beautiful Mars diplomat who is determined to win independence for the planet. One of the more recent entries on this list, Iron-Blooded Orphans focuses heavily on the harsh lives of people who have been child soldiers. <laughs> The gritty storytelling matches the action, and the mecha designs complement the pilots behind them. Though fighting often takes a back seat in the series, it's the underlying sentimentality that gives this series its edge. <laughs> Number 4. Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn <laughs> 3 years after Char's counterattack, two star-crossed youths, Bonaja and Audrey, find themselves in the middle of a power struggle between the Earth Federation and Neo Zeon. Gundam Unicorn returns to the original Universal Century timeline, and man, it has never looked better. <laughs> With a huge budget behind it, this is one of the most visually amazing entries to date. There's also a great cast of heroes and villains, and a story that could have huge effects on other Universal Century stories. Number 3. Mobile Suit Gundam Universal Century 0079 During the one-year war between the Earth Federation and the Principality of Xeon, one young man and one mobile suit emerged to turn the tide of the war and history itself. That's amazing! This is where it all began, the one-year war. Amuro and the original RX-78. The undeniably awesome Char Asnabal. This is vintage, old-school anime featuring a story that still holds up today, with excellent characters and motivations. Over 40 years after its debut, Mobile Suit Gundam has become more than an anime, it's a legend. Number 2. Mobile Suit Gundam 00 in the year 2307 AD, a terrorist organization known as Celestial Being sends four Gundams to Earth with one mission, the elimination of war itself. If you loved Gundam Wing, this is definitely one you should check out. You've got some of the sleekest Gundams to date, along with four attractive pilots to root for. <laughs> You've got a twist and turn story filled with political intrigue and war commentary. And of course, who doesn't love seeing a nigh invincible Gundam cutting through mobile suits like butter? Before we reveal our number one pick, here's some honorable mentions Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. Mobile Suit Gundam The Eighth MS Team. Damn it, no! Gundam Build Fighters. Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. Mobile Suit Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number 1. Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam Thought I heard a girl's name. But that kid looks like a boy. But that kid looks that like kid a boy. Like but that kid looks that like kid a boy. Like Seven years after the One Year War, the game has changed. The Federation is now the enemy, and heroes must become rebels to stop them. Our number one pick goes to the show that catapulted Gundam back into relevance in the 80s. This epic space opera is dark, edgy, and so intense, it's impossible to look away. If they insist on fighting, I have to take them out. Why don't they understand? Camille and his AUG allies are fantastic successes to the original Gundam story, and are supported by familiar faces like Amaro and Char. Though it may seem dark beyond compare, Gundam's staying power in the present can be heavily credited to the brightest gem that is Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.